Tech Temple. This is Wise Man White again, here with another video. And this video is a very good, especially for those of you who just got an Android phone. I'm going to teach you in this one how to uh, increase your battery life without having to buy a new, buy a new battery. Um, this one is courtesy of Eric Marion. He requested this video, so I'm going to start doing that. If you guys have a request of a video, just let me know. I'll try to make it. Um, I know there's been a request of how to root. I'm, gonna, I'm working on that one right now. But I apologize in advance if my screen's a little shiny than normal. Um, my screen cover after a year finally went dead. But I'm going to buy another one. I mean, a year, three bucks, that's not bad at all. I'll take that any day. And I know you're probably thinking, dang, this dude changes his screens a lot. But that's a good thing about Android. You can always change the background, change the clock. That's a fancy widget, if you're wondering. But all right, so the first thing about saving your battery is, of course, the what's the most obvious one is the screen. And these changes are for Android uh, in general. It doesn't matter if you have vanilla Android like I got, or if you have uh, Samsung, or if you have an HTC Sense. These options are available for all of them. So you want to go to settings, and you want to go to display, and you want to go to brightness and you want to uncheck auto brightness. What auto brightness does is when you're in the dark it puts your screen darker. When you're in the light it makes your screen lighter so you can see uh, when there's a bright light. So one reason I tell you to turn this off is because let's say you're at work of course work is the lit place but if you have this on what is it doing? It's making your screen always bright because there's so much light above you shining on it and it does the opposite of what you want it to do. You want it to keep your battery on. So I recommend, um, I have mine at about 30%. You can fool with it and see how you like it about your settings, but I like it about 20%, 30%. And it's not like it's going to be a big change, like after a while you won't notice. Like I can't even tell that this is, to me this is not dim. But, I mean like I said, you can always turn it up. But I'm just going to leave mine back to where I had it. So that's the first thing. The second thing while we're here under the display settings is the screen timeout. What the screen timeout is uh, how much time will pass before your screen automatically turns off. So I have mine at 30 seconds which is the, the least uh, the second the least time you can have is 15 seconds. That's a little too short. But I'll show you just to show you just real quick. So 15 seconds. So after 15 seconds goes by uh, my screen should shut off. So that's great. So let's say you, you just go upstairs real quick and you just have your phone laying down there the screen is the thing that kills your battery, one of the most things. And after 15 seconds, it shuts the screen off, so your screen is not using up battery power. So that's the second thing, is the brightness. And while we're here, the next thing I would say that takes up your battery the most is your uh, accounts. So if you go to Accounts and Sync, background data I will leave that on because that way if you have like Twitter or Facebook any other apps that need to pull data from the internet it can pull pull those that data that you need if you have that unchecked it won't do it and you have to manually refresh it just like weather but I would uncheck auto sync so if you have auto sync checked what it does it's always pulling information so I would equiv make it a uh, for example I like to use a car so let's say you have a group of friends and they all want to go to your house. And what auto check, checking auto sync is like going to each friend and bringing them one by one back to your house instead of taking them all in a group and taking them to your house at once. Because auto sync is always pulling stuff. So if you have auto sync on, it's always looking for Gmail, it's always looking for your docs, it's always pulling, pulling, pulling. If you uncheck that, um, you do it yourself. So I have two accounts on mine, and I'll just go to. Uh, Tech Temple, and you can see, uh, I don't. It won't sync my docs, my books, my contacts. It won't sync my Gmail, or my Picasa, or my calendar. And I mean, every now and then. So what's nice about the new version is, you turn this on, which I have a uh, set. Turning that on is the same thing as checking this auto sync. So now you can see auto sync is checked. But when I go back down and I, un I turn that off, 
I don't think it's unchecked. So that's a quick way to do it. That way you don't have to leave auto sync on and that way you don't have to go to menu settings, account settings. It's just real fast. So that's one another thing I would recommend take off. That should definitely help your battery. And if you're wondering like, oh well how do I pull my Gmail? Besides just checking this and checking this off. If you open up your Gmail, oh, sorry, I want to talk. If you open up Gmail and shout out to uh, Quas, but if you uh, go to refresh right there, that's just as good. Like nobody needs, rarely few of us need to have our email pulled every second. So that's what you can do if you really need to check your email every now and then. Another thing I will say is a lot of your apps, you should change the frequency which they pull data. So let's say I'm going to um, go to a Facebook app. And if you go to the home part of Facebook, and you go to the settings there's something right there called a refresh interval now most apps will have the refresh interval refresh interval is how often it's going to pull data and the more the more often you pull the data the more it's going to use your battery so I have have you mine um, check the one hour but they got 30 minutes two hours four hours never and even if you turn that off any app you should always be able to go in and hit this refresh button on any app that pulls data So that's another tip. And so like I said, when I, we turned the screen brightness on before, like it still looks bright. At 30%, it's still gonna function the way you need it to up every day. You don't have to have it at uh, 90 or 80 percent like you might think you might have to. And the next thing I will say is the wireless and network settings. So menu settings, and you want to click wireless and network settings. And one thing, well, first of all, if you're in the house, turn on Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi, using Wi-Fi is, first of all, it's faster than having, using your 3G. This is an exception if you've got 4G with Verizon. It's probably faster to use uh, the 4G. But this is a battery video, and 4G definitely kills your battery. So I would recommend using Wi-Fi if you're in the house or any vicinity that has a Wi-Fi available. That will save your battery. Now leaving Wi-Fi on all day just so we can automatically pick up signals. I'm not sure if that how that affects your battery, but I just have mine unchecked just because. But I will say if you go down to mobile networks, um, you want to unche I have unchecked international data roaming and national data roaming. I have those unchecked, and you want to keep data enabled, of course, because otherwise you won't be able to connect to the internet. But where is this other thing? There was one more thing. Location and security. Location and security. This is one place that's kind of tricky. All right. So you have two options. Use wireless networks and use GPS satellites. Now, you do not need to have wireless networks on that means like it can always like whenever it wants to it can always pull data um, regardless so if it wants to always pull data it can keep pulling it and pulling it and they say it helps with location based but you don't need that because you have GPS on GPS uh, it says it right there when locating accurate the street level now I don't know about you but I don't know how much more accurate you can get than knowing what street I'm on so you can uncheck use wireless networks that'll save your uh, battery and those are the tips. I mean, it's not real hard. You should see some battery increase, definitely, especially if you unchecked the, um, especially in the account in sync and you uncheck auto sync data. That will definitely help your battery in the long run. Oh, hey, you like that little animation. That's that fancy widget right there.
definitely worth it. Especially if you rooted your phone and you want to get your HTC clock back, you want some other clocks back. This is great. And it even has a little window wipe animation on it. But yeah, it's, it's always freaking raining in Akron. But, uh, I'll take you back here in the options real fast. And just so you can check, like, how's your battery doing throughout the day instead of downloading a battery widget. That's one thing that I believe kills your battery. Anything that reads your battery, because it's always trying to pull, like, information from it, I think that will kill your battery or that will drain it faster. And Android already has one built in. I mean, it might not be very good, but it's definitely there. So I have 2.3, and this is how you check it in 2.3. You go to uh, About Phone and Battery Use. So Battery Use will tell you what processes. Like I said, like especially, well, I don't have a, a molded screen, but I know on these screens, I think maybe probably most screens, that the display is the thing that kills the battery a lot. You can see right there, 73% of my battery is being used by the screen. And everything else is cool, like it's nothing nothing else too bad. And if you click this little chart here, I'm not really sure how to use it, but it gives you a little a graphical view of how you want to do it, of how you uh how your battery's been used. Now if you have Android 2.2 or 2.1, this is how you go to your battery stats. Go to menu, settings, you want to hit scroll down, go to about phone. And you want to hit the status. Uh, right there it says battery level. And it will tell you right there. So you don't need to download a widget or anything extra on your phone. Um, I'm trying to keep you guys from seeing my phone number. But if you want my other phone number, the Tech Temple line, 614-342-0527. I, mean, I pick up. I don't know if you leave a voicemail, I'll get back to you. I have no problem with that. But... That's it as far as conserving your battery. If you got any other questions, just leave comments or if you agree with me, you disagree with me, that's what's great about the comment system. We can all see our feedback and leave it. Um, hit up the techtemple.com, subscribe. I'm thinking about having like a little prize giveaway. I'm just gonna pick pick a random person. Um try to give away a free month of Netflix. But you only qualify if you don't have Netflix. So Definitely going to give that away. Um, if you got any other questions, just let me know. This is Wise Man White, the Tech Temple. Peace. And you just came from the gym clothes. And a fitted cap and some Timbos. And a pair of flats, well trimmed toes. Camera in the mirror, BBM pose. Still killing.